I think we need to have wider access to cannabis as a medicine. At the moment, it's only a second line treatment when other conventional treatments have failed. And I think it would be useful to use as a first line treatment when that becomes acceptable by our governments. There is an area which everyone seems to be on and it's uh, supportive of. It's CBD, it's a non-psychoactive component of, of cannabis medicine. It's very popular in the world. You can get it in coffee in the States and that sort of thing. CBD, yeah, generally it's a very safe medication, but CBD used in high doses can have effects on our livers that slows down the metabolism of other drugs we may be taking. So if you're not taking any other drugs, CBD is pretty much a very safe medicine. But CBD in high dose, um, so if it's unregulated, people could access high doses easily, can be dangerous in terms of drug-drug interactions or drug-liver interactions, especially in the areas of uh, anti-epileptic or seizure medications and um, blood thinning medications. So these medications can be slowed down in their metabolism when you have high dose CBD intake in a person. And this can result in uh, over medication of people and over anticoagulation of people, which means you can have a stroke and a worst case scenario or, or a bleed. So there's some serious implications to this very safe medication. So I think there is some reason for medical oversight as well.